cool. So stores, cafes. What about you, Kyrie? What's your neighborhood like? Let me unmute you, okay? Hold on one second. I gotta unmute you, honey. Um, there we go. So Kyrie, what's your neighborhood like? My neighborhood of life is I'm going to share something from yesterday I draw something. Okay. Oh, what a nice drawing, Kyrie. It's Sonic. It's, it's Sonic? I knew it. I knew right away when I saw it, that's Sonic. That looks awesome. I'm a hedgehog. Well, you have a Sonic stuffed animal too. Do you think you're as fast as Sonic? So Kyrie, what kind of, um, what is your neighborhood like? What's in your neighborhood? I don't know. When you walk outside, what do you see? Mm. How about this? Go look out the window and then come back. All right, Amira, what's your neighborhood like? It's filled with one store and a lot of houses. Stores and houses? That's really Is there a store in your neighborhood that you like to go to? Mm-hmm. Where do you like to go? Um, the one who sells fruits and candy. Fruits and candy, that sounds like an and awesome neighborhood. Too. Wow, very nice. What about, um, Humaira's raising her hand pretty high. Humaira, what's your neighborhood like? My neighborhood is like buildings, and grocery stores. Buildings and grocery stores. Wow, that's a really cool neighborhood. I know I always want to live right next to a grocery store because Miss Beauchene is often hungry. Um, Greg, what is your neighborhood like, Greg? My neighborhood is like um, um, next to my house stores. stores. Oh, you have stores in your neighborhood? What what can you buy at the stores? I can buy food, chips, and candy, or iPhones or, or tablets or things. Oh, wow. So you have like an electronics store too. Very nice. That's so cool. All right, Kyrie, I see that you did notice something. Uh, what did you notice about your neighborhood? The Bronx. You live in the Bronx. That's great. This is not the Bronx. It's the other Bronx with the goats in the hills. Oh. Oh. oh okay. That's really cool. Bunch. There's a bunch of houses. You you can. There's a lot of bunch of things there in the Bronx. It's a big house. Oh, that's awesome. Do you live anywhere near like a park or a playground? There's Maybe. no bugs. There's only yeah? pools. Oh, a pool? I wow. Can I'm shy. Oh. I'm, I'm going to cry and sh sh um, swim there. Oh, wow. I would want to swim there, too. Wow, you guys, you sound like you have some pretty awesome neighborhoods. Neighborhoods that I would definitely love to live in. So let's talk about that word neighborhood, okay? Neighborhood? is the area where you live and all of the people and the buildings and the stores and the parks, the playgrounds um, and the apartments, the houses. It's just all of the things that make up the community where you live. So let's talk a little bit more about neighborhoods because today we're gonna draw our own, okay? So here's what you need. You already got your stuff. You got a paper, you got pencil, and you got something to color with if you have it. And then you all took a quick look outside your window so that you could tell me what does your neighborhood look like. Um, Dalvin is telling me that there's a lot of buildings around him. James messaged me and he said there's lots of trees. That's really cool. 
So these are three photos of neighborhoods in New York. What do all of these neighborhoods have in common? What do you see in all of these neighborhoods? Wow. I don't uh, this is the source. Jalea, what do you notice about all these pictures? I noticed that they have so many buildings like at our place. Yeah, we live in New York City, so there is lots of buildings. Irene's just chatted me and she said she sees lots of cars too. That's right, Irene's lots of cars. Salimata, what do you notice about these pictures? Um, um, I want to show you something to you. Okay. You see on um, your background is buildings and sidewalks, right? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's great, Sally Mata. Thank you for showing me that. So I heard a lot of people saying um, cars, buildings, sidewalks, people. Okay. So there's lots of different things that you can find in a neighborhood. So here's what I want you to do now. We're gonna do a brainstorm. So everybody close your eyes and think, okay? We're gonna think about the drawing that we're gonna to make today. Think about your neighborhood and think about three things that you want in your picture. If there's a park or trees and you wanna draw like nature and trees, go for it. If you want to draw buildings, stores, restaurants, that's good too. Um, you could also do a playground or a school um, or houses and apartments. I just want you to think of three things that should be in your neighborhood. Dalvin is telling me that he has a school in his neighborhood. That's really cool. Um, okay, so we're gonna get started. Let's take a look at some drawings of neighborhoods. They should remind you, especially this one at the top in the middle, they should remind you of a project we've done before. Does it look familiar to you? Right in the middle at the top. What does that remind you of? Kumaira. It reminds me of when <clears throat> we did uh when we did a collage of houses. Okay, first of all, Humaira, you are so smart. I cannot believe that you just remembered the vocabulary right off the bat. You're talking to me like a real artist, which I know you are. Well, Humaira just went ahead and said, "Oh yeah, Miss Boshe, no big deal. It's just a collage we did of houses, and a lot of us don't even remember what a collage is." Humaira, do you mind reminding us what is a collage? A collage is when you go one piece of paper to another piece of paper. And it's not only that, it even means when you organize your collage. You are so right, and I am forever impressed by how smart you are. Uh, what about Nadia? It looks like she has something to add on to that. It reminds me of the, the colorful drawings we drew. You're so right, Nadia. Humaira and Nadia are combining their thoughts. Now, we did do a collage. We also made a drawing last week of those castles, right? So we used what? To, I'm not talking about the material. Like when we made our collage, we used construction paper. And when we made our castles, we just drew the picture. But what do you think they did to draw all of these buildings? What are all these buildings made of? What are all of these buildings made of? I'm coming over to Stephanie. Uh, what do you said again? What are all these pictures of buildings? What are all these buildings made of? They're made of paper. Right, so I don't mean colors. like- Okay, very good. Because I see colors yeah. on the picture. Okay, very good. But when they were drawing these buildings, what makes up the buildings? Well, it's an element of art that we've talked about before. It's not lines. Yeah. 
What would you call that? Do you want to pass my class? All right, I'll come back. Okay, Stephanie. So who can who thinks they can tell me uh, what these buildings are made of? And I don't mean paper, pencil, or paint. I mean how do they draw these? Think about back when, who, like whom I reminded us. Think about when we did our collage. What did we cut the paper? Like what did we draw on the paper before we cut it out? Bella, do you remember? Uh huh. We cut it out. We cut it out construction paper. To yes, make, we definitely. To make a building. A, I'm going to tell you what a collage is. A collage is when okay. you stick a paper to another paper to make a picture. Oh, you are so right. So when we did make our collage, what did we draw on the paper before we cut it out? Go ahead, Isabella. What did we draw on the paper before we cut it out? We, we, we drew, we drew, we drew, we drew, um, the, 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 we drew the, um, city. Okay, very good. Humaira, would you like to expand on that? We drew the shapes. Ding, ding, ding. That is the magic word. We drew shapes. If you look at every single one of these pictures, all of these buildings are made of shapes, just like when we made our house collage. Now go ahead and think back to that list you thought of, of the things in your neighborhood that you would like to draw. Start to think about what shapes make up those buildings or stores, okay? Now, I want you all to think about three things that you can put in your neighborhood drawing and then tell me what you think you're going to use. So if you think you're ready to tell me, what are three things you're going to put in your neighborhood drawing? Raise your hand. What are you going to put in your neighborhood, Greg? I'm going to put in my neighborhood um, people's card and buildings. People, cars, and buildings. Excellent job. I'm so glad you said that because I want to talk to you about um, cars, okay? You guys have drawn people and buildings out of shapes, right? But not cars. We have not drawn cars yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share my screen with you for under my dot cam where I draw. And I want you to tell me, what are some shapes that you think could make up a picture of a car? Greg, what shapes do you think are in a car? Um, circles. What part of the car would be circles? Um, the wheels. Okay. So, circle wheels. What about the body of the car? In the body of the car, a... Mm, a body of the car is a... Mm, it's okay if you don't know. Let's see who else thinks they might know what shapes could I use to draw a car. Raise your hand if you think you know. Issa 2 and Samina should be able to see you. Please get on screen. Harry, what do you think? A, it has a taco, a taco size. A taco shape. A taco shape? Ooh, that would be a really cool car. You know what I think I'm gonna stick with just to keep it simple for those of us who wanna draw a car? I'm gonna use a rectangle, and on top of that, I'm gonna use a square, okay? After I do that, I can do two triangles to fill in the space. And then watch what happens. I put a line right down the middle, some door handles, and some lines to show that these are windows. Look how quickly those simple shapes become a car. Okay. Now, somebody else mentioned that in their neighborhood they have trees. What shapes do you think we can use to draw trees? Jeter and Julius, do you think you know? No? <laughs> 
who thinks they know what shapes you can use to draw trees? Jeter, you think you know? Yeah, I think. What do you think? Uh, think about yeah. the trunk. Let's just start with the trunk. Uh, no, I, no, I don't know what they do. A sun? Well, right now we're just thinking about the shapes that we would, huh? Cheater? A rectangle. Yes, very good. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. But what about the rest of the tree? What can go on top? Cheater, circle? Yes, brilliant. A circle. And then to make it even more realistic, like I said, realistic means it looks real. Realistic means it looks real. Very good. So I'm going to do skinny rectangles on the side. And then I could even add a circle in the middle and curvy lines to really make it look like it's a tree bark. After that, pointy ovals can show me that there are leaves that make up the tree too. Okay, part the tree. Now, I know you guys are gonna be able to remind me, how do we draw houses and buildings? Do you think you know? How do we draw houses and buildings? That's okay. Uh, I will come back. Who thinks they remember? How do we draw apartments, houses, buildings? We talked about when we were talking about the collage we did earlier. Rayel, do you think you remember? Marielle, do you think you remember? Yeah? What do I do to draw houses and buildings? First, you have to draw a rectangle. Okay. What do I do then? And then you have to draw a roof on top. What, sh what shape should I use for the roof? Um, triangle. That's a good one. Okay, what else? What else? And then you need to draw a door handle. What shape should I use for the door? A circle. A circle for the door? Sure, I could do that. What about the windows? Great, Rael. Thank you so much for reminding me. All right. So we um, have cars, trees, houses, stores, buildings, apartments. There's all sorts of things inside of our neighborhoods. But what I asked you to do was pick three things you want in your neighborhood. Everybody pick three things for your neighborhood and write it down. Then when you're ready to share, raise your hand. Because I would love to know what's going to be in your drawing. What's going to be in your drawing of your neighborhood? For mine, I'm going to draw a bakery because I live right next to a bakery. I'm going to draw apartments. And I'm going to draw trees. Because they're not big, but I have some small trees. What's going to be in your neighborhood? Who can tell me about their neighborhood? What are you going to draw on yours? Carolyn, are you raising your hand? Carolyn, are you raising your hand? No. Oh, it looks like you were. I wonder who is raising their hand. I see that Grace and Christopher are working really hard to write down what's in their neighborhood. Who can tell me what you want to draw in yours? Cherielle, do you want to tell me? What are you going to put in your neighborhood, Cherielle? I think I'm going to put in my neighborhood is I'm going to put 
a square. And what would the square represent? Like, what would the square be? That, that will be the house. Oh, okay. So you're going to have houses. What else are you going to put in your neighborhood? I'm going to put a rectangle for the door. Oh, very good. I love that you're already utilizing your knowledge of shapes to make sure that your neighborhood looks realistic. Mame, I feel like you want to share. Do you want to tell me what you're going to put in your neighborhood? I'm going to put in mine a, a Sonic car, McDonald's, and a sun and a date so we know when it is. Whoa, wow. That look, sounds like it's going to be a really awesome neighborhood. It's got a McDonald's. It's going to be a nice, bright, sunny day. There's going to be cars. I can't wait to see it. All right, so scholars, uh, I'm really excited to see your drawings. What I'm going to do is share my screen so that you can see the slideshow again. So that you can see some examples of different uh, neighborhoods. Here's what your drawing needs. Each of your drawings needs to have a road or a sidewalk, at least three buildings made from shapes, signs for the buildings, and weather. So what's it like outside? Okay. If you need to, you can go look out your window and come right back. But then I want you to draw your neighborhood, okay? I'm gonna give you a little while to do this. And if you have any questions at all, raise your hand. I'm gonna be scanning the room to make sure that we're all focused and working. And then I can't wait to see what your neighborhoods look like. Jane Elise, do you have a question? I'm done. Done? Let me see. Oh my goodness, that's so pretty. It's a big, beautiful house. And then it looks like a tree. Is that oh, a tree next to it? And I added labels. Oh, such a good idea. That way we know exactly where you are. So because you kind of went ahead a little bit, here's what we're going to do. Flip the paper over. And then on the back, I want you to hold it the hamburger way. Do you remember what that means? Like this. Hold on, I lost your screen for a second. Yes, that way you can fit at least three buildings, okay? Now, I want you to pick three different buildings. One can be a house, one can be a store, and the other one is up to you, okay? It could be a school, um, or whatever there is in your neighborhood. And then you can add your trees and cars and people and weather, okay? But I wanna give you guys some time to really fill this out with your ideas and drawings, okay? So scanning the room to see if anybody has questions. Remember, you can also chat me directly. Catherine, are you there? Hi, Catherine. Let's make sure we're making our drawing, okay? Samin, I still can't see you, so that's a warning, buddy. Sabrina, oh, there's Sabrina, sorry. Hi, Sabrina, you just had your head down because you were working. I think Arenis is already coloring. No, I thought you were coloring. Mamadou, are you working? Mamadou, are you working? Yeah, I'm going to need to see that there is paper and pencil in your hand. Okay. Isabella, do you have a question? This is what I have so far. Wow. Very detailed. That looks like a great building. Keep going, keep up the great work. Dalvin, that's a warning. Put the ball down and make your drawing. Right, it's okay if you don't have any crayons or markers. You can do this whole drawing in pencil too. Oh, Delisha is working super hard. Ronnie L, I don't see that you're working at all. Gotta make this drawing, buddy. Kumaira and Nadia are hard at work. Looks like Grace is working pretty hard too. All right, some of you are chatting me and saying that you're done with your work, but 
I would like you to add more details. Look at this list that you see on the screen. Does, does your drawing have every single one of these things? Does it have a road or a sidewalk? At least three buildings made from shapes? Does it have signs and labels? Does it have the weather outside? Make sure you have all of these things before you tell me you're done. Manny, you should have your camera on, hun. Mr. James, I don't know if you noticed, but this says Zach co-host, but it's actually Sharif. No, I did not notice it. And that scholar has been in and out, so I was just kind of curious who that was. So thank you. Of course. Um, all right. Still scanning the room, and I see that Peleus and Amin are working super hard. Whoa, Jariani is adding so many details. I can tell. Diavelius is also working super hard. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see these drawings. I'll give you a couple more minutes. All right, those of you who are coloring, I really need you to make sure that you're using level four craftsmanship. Can anybody remind me what does level four craftsmanship mean? If I say that your drawing needs to have level four craftsmanship, what does that mean that I'm looking for? Hmm. Zachary, do you happen to remember what level four craftsmanship means? That means no white lines. No white space is left behind. Excellent job. So make sure you're filling in all the white space. Aisha, do you remember what else it means? What else it means is if you leave some white space left, the, the author won't know what you will be drawing or you know in your neighborhood or inside your house or a house because he will know not know what you're drawing. Okay, so keep it neat to make sure that your um, drawing is very clear. Janelise, what else does it mean? It may stay in the white space, but don't come out the line. If you don't come out the line, if you come out the line, that's not craftsmanship. That that's that's scribbling. You are so right and spoken just like a true artist, Janelise. So staying inside the lines, covering the white spaces, no scribbling. You guys can totally remember what level four craftsmanship means. And I'm happy to hear it because I'm looking forward to seeing your drawings. Caroline, just do the best that you can, okay? Oh, Manny looks so hard at work. I can't wait to see it. I can tell that he's really focused on his drawing. Carolyn, I mean, just, you know, follow along as best you can. I'll give you one more minute to finish these drawings, and then I hope you're ready to share because I would love to see it. Hey Grace, do you have a question? I'm already done with my, with my thing. Oh, <gasps> okay. Hold it there. Don't show the class yet, because I'm gonna I'm gonna highlight you once we are ready. But Grace, wow. Let me just tell you, I'm so excited. That was awesome. Oh, there's that little Gracie smile. You should be very proud of yourself. Oh, that's great, Catalina. I can't wait to see it. Okay, I'm going to stop my screen share with you because I can't wait to see these drawings. Uh, because Grace already showed me hers, I'm going to uh, spotlight you and I want the rest of the class to see it too. So let's see. Whoa! Oh my goodness. When I told her she needed to have at least three buildings, a sidewalk or a road, and people, trees, and weather. And did she do all of that? Check, check, check. Wow, great. That is an awesome drawing. And if I were you, I would hang it up on the wall right now. Very good. Who else is ready to share their neighborhood? Janelise. 
Awesome. I love that you turned the paper over and used it the hamburger way so that you have more room. I love the clouds and I see that these buildings are perched nicely on a sidewalk. Way to go, Janelise. All right, we're coming over to Ashraf. Hi, Ashraf. Are you trying to unmute yourself? I'll unmute you. I'll take care of it. There you go. Hold it up. Whoa, look at all those windows. And that car. And I even love how the building has a big flag on it. Whoa, this is such a cool neighborhood. When it's really? raining. It's what? It's raining. Well, I love it. It's a beautiful drawing. You did so good. I'm coming over to Delisha. Hi, hon. Hey. <gasps> Whoa, I love these colors. Wow, you are so lucky to have such beautiful colors to color with at home. And I must say, you absolutely used level four craftsmanship. What'd you say? I used markers. You used markers? Well, I am very proud of your level four craftsmanship. You stayed inside the lines, you didn't scribble. I can tell that you're working on your art skills even from home. Amazing. Coming over to Ron, y'all. Wow, excellent job, Ronnie I'm so glad to see that you made the drawing. It also looks like there's a couple of streets in your neighborhood too. Way to add details. Coming over to Isabella. Whoa! So Isabella, it looks like you live in like um, a neighborhood with a lot of brick buildings. Yes. And if you can see, um, I added some terrain, and this is the terrain seven, and I added a weather, which it is cold outside because I wanted to add a little bit more details. So I added lines to the, I I added lines to the tree, and then if you can closely see this, this um, this car is is a cool car because it does not have it does not have a cover up here or it does not have it does not have the um the triangle um the triangle um, handles they this this car is a very cool car Wow. And I added a uh, trap over there and some birds. Well, I have to say I'm so excited to see that you drew the train. I haven't seen anybody add that yet. That's such a good idea. All right, I'm coming over to Catalina. I told you. Wow, that's a huge drawing. That is so cool, Catalina. I love that you did it so big. Awesome job. I love how big your drawing is. Way to go, Catalina. All right, Aisha. Whoa, excellent. Oh, I love the labels. I love the flowers. I love the car and the buildings. Great colors, Aisha. Great job. Um, coming over to Nadia. <gasps> awesome job, Nadia. What a beautiful neighborhood. Really they even beautiful. do something under it. Yeah, what's under it? A construction worker train. Oh, nice. They're looking for treasure. <laughs> That's such a good idea. Nadia, I love it. I love that you added construction workers because we all live in New York City and we all know construction is everywhere. There's a I, construction near my house. I can, so I can definitely tell that you pulled inspiration from the world around you. Perfect, Nadia. Coming over to Humaira. Oh, whoa, look at those colors. Wow, Humaira, what a beautiful neighborhood. 
Can you put it a little closer to the camera? Wow. Oh my gosh, I want to live there. Are there any apartments opening up near you? I want to live there. That's a beautiful neighborhood. Um, hold on, Humaira, what'd you say? Is somebody moving because some of the buildings are already full? Oh, all right. Well, you keep an eye out for me, okay? Um, Dalvin, did you want to share? Yeah. Let's see. Wow, Dalvin. Very good. I'm so glad you put in all of the things that I asked to see. Awesome. And it's for like one, two, three, four, four houses and one tree and a car and a cloud and some rain falls and the, and the sun. Wow, that's awesome. I'm coming over to Stephanie. Oh, you drew our, what? You drew our school. Aw. Hold on, I'm gonna unmute you, okay? Uh, Stephanie, there we go. I I labeled the chatter school and I and, and I draw two houses and, and me and my dad and the helicopter and a car and one tree. Wow, I love the helicopter. That that's an amazing drawing. And my dad helped me draw a helicopter. And uh, I can't, I, I, I was not sure how to draw, so I practiced drawing it. And then <laughs> my, my brother. Oh, hi. Wow, Stephanie, you're so lucky that your dad is an artist too. Um, let's see, I'm trying to find someone else. Oh, that's a cool idea, Catalina. Um, looking at the screen. Oh, Athena. Hey, Athena. Hi. Wow. Oh, I your name. My sister in the car, and then a suitcase, and then me kicking a basketball with the trees, and then the road, and then the grass, and then my house. Wow. So you drew a suitcase. Are you going to travel anywhere? Maybe. Wow, Dina, really great drawing. And I love the colors. I can't believe you did that whole thing so fast. Such an artist. Um, Tracking to see, oh, coming over to Mame. So Mame, tell me about this neighborhood. Let me unmute you, hang on. Tell me about your neighborhood. My neighborhood has a sun and tree and me going home and learning tree work. That's great. Can you hold it up so we can see it? Gorgeous. Love that plane, by the way. Very good. How about Kyrie? Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Hold it nice and still, okay? I want you to pull it back just a little bit because I want to be able to see the whole thing. A little more? No, pull it back a little more. No, I mean, uh, closer to you. Great. Okay, hold it still. Wow. This is fantastic. I love this neighborhood. Oh, oh my gosh, it's so good, Kyrie. Oh, I know what to add in my picture. What'd you say? Oh, yeah? Wow. Amazing. Coming over to Jalea. Wow, Jalea, I can't, 
I can't believe you colored this whole thing in one class. Gorgeous. What about fauna? <gasps> awesome use of shapes to make buildings, fauna. Really beautiful. Coming over to Issa too. Awesome. The trees, the cars, the buildings, beautiful. Coming over to Greg. Huh, I'm not sure what happened to your camera, Greg. Um, all right, guys, I wish I could have seen everybody for so much longer, but the problem is we have to go. Um, I wish we didn't, because you could stay and look at your art forever. But remember, if you make art and you want me to see it and you didn't get to share it during class today, just send it to me on Jupiter, okay? I would love to see anything you make. You can message me on Jupiter anytime. I will always be there to see it. Greg, now I see. Awesome. Great job, Greg. So remember, guys, if you ever want me to see your art or if you ever want to reach out, I'm always here for you. You can reach me on Jupiter. Got it? I hope you have a really great day. I miss you so much and I can't wait to see you again. Um, and Mr. James, they are on break right now. Is that it? Um, I think so. I think that's always the order. They have a quick break or well, I'm not sure at all. Did Miss Edwards leave? Yeah. Um, Issa too seems to know. Um, we have a break and then like we go to our reading conferences. Oh, go to your reading conferences. Thanks, Issa too. <laughs> Thanks, Issa. You should be the teacher. All right, guys, go to your reading conferences. See you later.